Okay, welcome to game two of my medium game semifinals against Malawait. Um, I won the first game in a sort of goonsy um, city quarters kind of game, which is pretty fun. Um, what have we got here? We've got some trashing with upgrade, sacrifice, trader. We've got villages with city quarter, essentially. Um, captain is not a city, okay? There's no way to make Captain into a city. Um, and we've got attacks with Ghost Ship, which is a really powerful attack. Really hurts City Quarter, as you saw in the last game. One of this match, starting the hand. But you can draw stuff with Wharfs, so you certainly want to be playing with Wharfs. Um, so Desperation is also really powerful here. Um, I'm going to start with the Silver, um, and then I'm going to strongly consider Desperation for... I could believe Captain, I could believe Upgrade, I could believe... Wharf. I believe one of the one of those three cards in the top right. Um, probably we'll put Pathfinding on City Quarter um, later on in the game. That seems like the strongest. If for some reason I end up with a bunch of random havens, I might do that. Um, I think getting the upgrade stuff going is too strong, so I'm in a desperation for upgrade. Um, and I can pick up. Um, some enchantresses with that, um, which are fine. Um, they've gotten a wharf, which is nice, with the enchantress there. And so I, I can start in on the wharves, or I can just go for a second upgrade and say I'm going to get thin really fast. Um, I'm going to be, be able to need, I'm going to need to be able to make money in order to buy, pay off the debt that I'm getting from, from City Quarter. Um, so there's different ways I can consider how to do that. Um, I think, though, I just like the second upgrade for now. And, um, you know, the problem with my, my Desperation opening is I did hit five turn three, but turn four I have two. But again, I just pick up a Haven and be fine with that. Um, as I said, there's like an off chance that I end up with a couple of these two hands, and I have like four havens, and then I path find that haven um, and draw a ton of stuff. Um, they've got themselves an upgrade now, which is nice for them. Um, with six, um, the captain is not great. It's hard to play. You're basically playing it as sacrifice or trader, neither of which are particularly good. Um, is it? This is weird to ask, but is it even worth getting a captain here, or do I just want to get a city quarter now? And I think the answer is I just want to get a city quarter. Um, I do need to pick up a ghost ship here pretty soon. Um, three of those five cards are actions. Um, Enchantress, two upgrades. Hoping, very much hoping so, to draw one of them here. Um, the best case scenario, I draw a couple of them. Um, but we'll be sad if I only draw none. Okay, so... I guess I'll start by setting aside the copper. I'm probably not going to be able to buy anything this turn anyways. So, yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, so, I do have another copper coming into play. Um, I'm going to be over terminal. Well, I have two enchantresses, um, and they have two enchantresses. Um, so, I think I'm going to play the upgrade here. Okay, so this is four, and I guess I'm going to go back and get another another city quarter. One of the nice things about that Captain could potentially do, um, play the Sacrifice most turns, and sometimes play the Trader later on if I need to grab a couple quick silvers. That, as soon as I say that out loud, it feels bad, so maybe I will not be doing that. I feel like bottom decking... Some of my good cards I bottom decked. One, my, my Enchantress that I gained on turn three, I didn't actually, I'm not actually able to play it until now, but that's the game. Um, I think two Enchantresses is enough. Pay the debt. And so I have two here, two City Quarters already. Doesn't make sense to take another Curse, I don't think. So again, you just take the Haven. Um, and I'm now going to be looking to buy a Ghost Chip. Um, well, they have two wharves already, so they've got more. 
So I have an extra city quarter and an upgrade. They have two extra wharves. Obviously, I, I think I'd rather have the wharves. Although, you know, they have four terminals in a deck with only one village. Um, they are duration terminals, so that's not everything. So I might, might actually consider getting a... Play this first. Play this. Play the Haven. Um... So I think my plan here will just be buy a... <laughs> my plan will be to buy a wharf here, I guess, for the plus buy. And then my next buy will be... So I'll set aside this haven to give me a better chance of having actions in hand with um, for my city quarter by the wharf now. Um, so I'm quite a bit thinner. Um, I've trashed two coppers and a curse. So they, they have three extra cards in their deck, but they're drawing more with their... Um, Enchantress and Wharf in play. Um, the Enchantress attack actually works really well with me having set aside a Haven because I'm completely happy to play the Haven as a pig. See the little pig and the Enchantress and the card looks like pig, which I think is a cute, cute thing, but that's just me. Okay, um, so I can gain and play something. So I can trash the, um, yeah, so, so I'm going to do this. Trash this into a trader, trash the trader into a ghost ship, um, and then play the ghost ship the same turn. That felt really good. Um, next turn, I have one fewer terminal action because the wharf is out. Um, so I'm going to buy a wharf, uh, another wharf, so I can play that next turn. And another Haven, I guess. Um, this turn I will consider upgrading the upgrade into a gold for some money, some economy in the deck. Um, they only have one upgrade, so they can't do the trick that I did, although they do have a sacrifice. So, um, okay, they didn't, didn't find anything. Okay, they, got, they bought their own ghost ship, which is reasonable. Um, okay, that's a drawn deck. So I can consider upgrading... Um, I think, though, I really do want the gold in the deck. So I'm going to buy the gold. Uh, I might as well play the ghost ship first. Um, I can decide what I want to buy here and then how much I want to set aside with Havens. Um, I think I'm honestly going to do um, Pathfinding on Haven here. Um, and then I can add coppers and stuff to the deck because I'm going to be massively overdrawing. Um, I mean, maybe I won't add coppers quite yet, but the, the principle of the matter is the same. I could uh, I could also Pathfinding on City Quarter, but the Havens seem, seem better. Um, I'm still not like 100% sure that I'm going to draw. I'd like to get another pair of Wharves in play, um, but I am at the point now when I'm getting... Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the interaction between Pathfinding and Enchantress. I do get the plus card um, in that case, or I should... Um, okay, play the Haven, so the side of Copper, all the good stuff. Um, so do I need to upgrade here? Um, I need to add some more money to the deck fairly quickly. Um, now that I'm, I've sort of got massive overdraw going on. Um, I could also consider adding more villages, but not... Not quite yet. Um, so this could just be like gold, silver, or like gold haven, gold haven copper. Um, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape now. Um, our decks are pretty much in the same state. They've got this extra sacrifice. Um, gold haven copper. Um, I feel fairly fairly certain that I'm going to be able to be drawing deck. I'd like to pick up another wharf and, and another pair of wharves. Um, so I'm playing two wharfs every other turn, two wharfs every turn. Um, and then I'm drawing the four cards plus two more with Enchantress. So I'm drawing six cards and being every turn. And again, I've got um, six cards coming into my hand as soon as the turn starts. So I'm not super worried about 
the ghost ship attack at this point. Um, I think it's good early. The earlier it is, the more it affects them. Um, I think it might have real hurt, really hurt them that first turn that I played it. Um, I'm, I'm struggling with making these videos. I'm trying to talk about what I'm doing. Um, and I find it difficult to simultaneously talk about um, talk about my opponent's deck. Um, so I am, you see how much I'm overdrawing. I've drawn my whole deck here. Um, so that's 14. Um, so another wharf, another gold, and a city quarters, I think. Gold, one more city quarters. Um, there's no real, no significant pile pressure right now. Um, they don't have enough money. And they've got one upgrade, so they can gain one extra thing. Um, so they could potentially upgrade Sacrifice into Wharf, um, play the Wharf. Um, they've got three Wharfs, so that's plus three buys, but they've only got like ten money. Um, one thing to note, and, and I saw this yesterday, somebody missed the pile out where the, the City Quarter costs eight debt, but if it's the last thing you buy in your last turn, you don't have to pay the debt in order to, to win the game. So that's something to watch out for. Um... So yeah, I'm going to Haven, set aside an upgrade, Haven, set aside a copper. Um, and then play my duration draws. Okay, I can play, pay my debt now. Um, so this could be Wharf Gold. Uh, I consider adding a market. Um, I'm drawing just so well that I think Wharf Gold um, seems fine. Um, that gets me up to 14 I paid five debt, so I have 16 money. So Wolf Gold seems fine. I don't actually know if I'm going to add any more. I'll add the rest, some, some more Havens. But um, I'm kind of playing this slowly. I think I could optimize this closeout a little bit faster. Um, and I may want to consider taking a province here soon just to be up the victory points in case they do get to some kind of sneaky pile out. But again, it takes, it takes 24 money to buy three city quarters in a turn. Um, and they've got much, much less than that. Um, they can gain and play a trader, trash, you know, gain and put, you can upgrade a silver into trader and then trader a gold into six silvers and then draw them up. Um, that's a lot, even with the, the overdraw that we both have, um, certainly that I have. Um, it is not worth it. And I can actually see their full their full deck. They've got eight money, it looks like, the two curses still. Um, they have a lot more curses than I I think is necessary. Um, it's called Desperation, I guess, for a reason. Um, they felt desperate and they needed to use it, but it's, it's mucking up their deck with these extra coppers that they aren't able to quickly get rid of. Um, and they had to pay the sacrifice so they can't sacrifice it. Um... So yeah, here I think I'm going to move into greening, um, get a province, get a couple, get the last couple of havens, um, and then I can look to empty maybe the wharves. Um, and again, happy to play that. Draw, draw. Um, twelve, twelve, twenty money. So that'll make that nineteen money. And I can go like province, um, two havens maybe, and a city quarters. Um, that feels like a really um, kind of lazy line for me to take. I could, I think, end the game faster or put myself up more. But I feel like I'm fairly, fairly far ahead. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting every turn by drawing um, six cards and putting two cards into my deck. So the likelihood that I miss... All of those city quarters is so small. Um, and I've got a couple havens I can play. I can play the upgrade. So my, my deck search space is very good. Um, I'll continue setting aside things like coppers. Um, I can even believe that I'm drawing so well that I could be buying extra coppers just because it's worth one money. Um, I can even believe that buying random extra curses, playing Desperation for a curse is worth it just to get that curse into my deck, which I can then trash with upgrade and, and move that pile towards zero. Um, the curse pile is a pile you have to watch out for. With the amount of plus buys that I have, I could end the game by buying, you know, if I can buy six curses in an estate, that's worth 
minus five, but I'm up by five. So, um, you know, the math, you just got to watch out the math at the curse pile. Um, they're getting a gold now in another wharf, which makes sense. They want to keep drawing. Um, so again, this is, that was a little scary, <laughs> a little bit scary. Um, and so I can Haven set aside, Haven, Haven set aside. Upgrade, Haven set aside. Um, province, stuff that I don't necessarily need. Play two wharves and an enchantress. Okay, so piles are not quite there yet. Um, but I think just getting another province, province, wharf, city quarter feels pretty, pretty good. Um, pay the debt. Um, so for them to empty the piles, it will take them 13 money. Um, but they're going to need to add 11 VP. Um, 10 VP when they trash the curse. So 13 money plus two provinces or something, which is 29 money. Or maybe they could do province, duchy, estate, something like that, which is 26 money. It's just really tough, really tough to add that all together. So um, I felt safe doing the line that I just did. Um, if I'd only been up one province, I don't think I would have touched either of those piles. I would have just gone for green cards. Um, I can also add like markets to my deck fairly reliably. Um, I'm, I'm okay adding more golds to my deck actually. Um, I'm drawing, drawing pretty well. Um, again, I'm going to start this turn by drawing, um, nine cards. Um, and there's a haven down there, which draws two more. So I'm going to draw 11 cards out of 20. Um, so I'm almost certainly going to find, um, I was going to say almost certainly going to find city quarters, except I already have two in my hand to start with. So not that concerned. Um, they have to be concerned now. They can't buy a wharf or a city quarter, um, because I'll be able to end the turn next game. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually matter what I put on top of the deck, to be honest, because wharf will just draw those same two cards back up again. Um, 13. So I assume this will be like Province Duchy, and they're going to hope I have some kind of dud. Um, they could go... Um, hmm. Yeah, they've got their deck under control now. Um, but it only costs me 13 money to pile, so I should be able to buy Wharf City Quarter City Quarter this turn. It should cost me um, 15 money because I have two debt. And I can upgrade one of my wharves into a gold or something. Um, I don't have any four costs to upgrade into wharf or duchy, which is something to be aware of. They've got an upgrade and sacrifice. They could upgrade the sacrifice into duchy, um, which could have given them more points this turn. But as you see, they've got um, you know fourteen money total in their deck. Um, 7, 11, they paid but 13, 14 money in their deck um, and it would have taken you know 20 something to, to pile out um, Desperation for state I am confused I am quite confused um, so 12, 14, 20 and it only takes me 15 to pile. I'm just going to click on my actions here, except for just in case I just in case I screwed it up. Uh, except for the ghost ship. Um, pay the debt. Um, buy an upgrade. But, ooh, shit! I still I still have it. Uh, pay the debt. Buy a wharf. Buy a city quarter. Definitely misclicked on upgrade there, but I still have it. Um, so all in all, um, a good game there. I think I, the second upgrade really helped my deck along. Um, I wasn't tracking their deck as much, but that certainly helped me. They also had to play de by desperation a few too many times, um, which makes it difficult to catch up. Um, so I'll see you in game three.